all part of the game, ain't it? It's all part of the game. What's going on everybody? It's October 28th. We're here at Auto City, here for a drift event hosted by EP Automotive. And me and Steven just got done doing our warm-up laps, so now we're getting ready to just swap our tires around and we're gonna start doing tandems. It's perfect weather out this weekend. It's like 60 degrees and we're not supposed to have any rain. It is a three-day drift event, so we are gonna have so much seat time. Me and Steven both brought five pairs of tires, so we both have 10 tires each. 20 tires total. So that should be a lot of seat time and we're looking forward to this weekend. Main goal for this drift event here is just for me and Steven to really lock in our tandems and get really close to each other and have some good fluidity to our manging and switching and transition and all that good stuff. Some stuff off the mid Just leave it in so when you go to the same location next time it won't hit the car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll graze yeah, right by it. <laughs> Steve, Steve, what happened? Dude, we did take our first L today. Uh, the, my tires were just shot. I knew I should have pulled off track, but I was like, one more. It's always that one more. And I went to transition. I'm sure Kellen got it on film, but I went to transition to get into the infield, and I just had no rear grip because the tires were completely gone. So I just lost the car, and I, we, uh, we hit a tire. Not terrible, but not good either. You bummed about it? What do you think? Not really. I mean, you can't go into a sport like this and drive as hard as you want to drive and not expect stuff like this to happen. So. Yep. Hell yeah. I think. Uh, and it's the end of the season, so perfect. We yeah. got all winter to learn how to do yeah. fiberglass. I mean, like you, you guys and myself, we all knew this was going to happen eventually, especially because I'm trying to drive hard, and this is just one of the learning curves. I'm new to the sport, and as you get more experience, you'll learn when your tires are done and when to come off track, so I just had to learn that the hard way today, but I mean, I bought the car to drift it, so this is just bound to happen. Man. All I'm good, homie. About it. Just time to do I, wide body with some exactly. over fenders. I would be bummed if, it, if I hit the wheel and my day was over, but luckily I didn't hit the wheel, it's just body. Just so some body. Just keep going. All right, so with that said, let's change our tires out and keep going. Yeah, let's do it. And he sees on the studs, in my head, a great idea. Now that I'm out at the track, a terrible idea because it's gonna get all over me and all over my clothes. We finally convince you to get a drift car? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Just maybe. All right, we'll keep working on it then. Any scary moments where you're like, oh, they're gonna hit? Uh, we had one, we had one, but <laughs> I think we saved them, so we're good. Hell yeah. Here we go again. Hopefully I can keep it out of the tires this time.
Okay, it's setting in a little bit. Now I'm a little sad, but. What are you talking? Oh, it's sitting in a little it's bit? Now, yeah, now that you've now had I'm 10 minutes sad. to now that you've had 10 minutes to think about how much fiberglass work you have to do, now it's, she ain't no shiny Woodward car anymore. Now she just drift clapped out drift car. Alrighty, so that is the end of day two, Oktoberfest, EP Automotive drift event at Auto City. I'm beat, but not as tired as Kellen. Absolutely destroyed. Kellen. I legs all day filming, but we're good. Ready for round three tomorrow. I really enjoyed watching the comp I really enjoyed watching drivers that drive at a much higher level than I do. I was trying to get some takeaways, I was trying to study their line, and uh, it actually helped. But after the comp, there was so much rubber on the track that the track was getting really grippy and I had to just completely change my driving style, what I've been doing for the past two days basically, to uh, like uh, compensate for how much grip the track had. Alright guys, we're starting out day three with some breakfast burritos. Rate it one to 10, you're a couple bites in already. How about you? 10. Mark, what are you gonna do here on day three? You have, you're out of the excuses. You've warmed skits. up, you're practiced, you know the track, you know the lines. I'm gonna do some skids. You're gonna do some skids today? Yeah. Cool. Better than you, specifically. Okay, those are fighting words, but. And uh, we're gonna warm up the cars and get to it.
Because we had some pretty close calls there. I, dude, this is one of the best weekends I've had this summer. That was a lot of seat time. I definitely will be doing this event again. We progressed so much just in these three days. Yeah. And Jake, you're driving great. This is only your third drift event. Third time. Hell yeah. If we were any worse, we would have crashed twice out there on that last on that last session. I was a little nervous. Doing tandems with Jake in the G35 is perfect because he's the slower car out of all of us. So he, punch, oh, he bro. punches us all. I'm not doing him dirty. I'm about to give him a compliment. But he bunches, he helps bunch us all up and keeps us from running away from each other. So we get way closer when yeah. when we have Jake lead. Except when I spin out. Except for when he spins out. Then we you all spin out. Then you really practice close. on accident avoidance. Yeah. Definitely had some close calls today. Yeah. But at least I didn't off track like I did on Friday yeah. so we're we're good. Oh yeah. Nice driving buddy. Yeah.